let's have a look at how you can adjust a date of a photo or a video. Some of the most common reasons why you'd have to do that is because your camera might have had the wrong time when you shot the photos. It often happens when we travel and when we then add them to our photo library and we have photos from the same event from different cameras, it will not be in chronological order. So we want to change that capture date. Another common reason is that photos that are being scanned, of course they have the wrong date because they will have the date of the scanning and not of when they were captured. So we have to change them. Or oftentimes files that are moved around and especially videos tend to lose their capture date. When we input them into our library, they would have today's date, so the import date rather than the actual capture date. And we have to change and adjust the date manually. Now, how do we do that? It's really simple by going to an image, click on it, then you go to image, adjust date and time, and you do your adjustment. So the force of tune, you can either click into these fields and then type, or you can simply use the arrows to move up and down. Same with the time. If it was the wrong time, let's say that was actually 1 p.m. There we go. Now it tells me it has been adjusted or will be adjusted by four days and two hours. I adjust, okay. And now you can see how it jumped. Remember that in the photos library, everything is always sorted chronologically by default. So it goes to the right spot once it's adjusted. Now let's say we wanna do that with a series of photos that all have the wrong date. So I can select multiples. But before I do that, we'll have a look at Command I, the information of that photo. So that was taken 9th of January at 2.37. Now when I go through, this was 37, just different seconds. There again, it's got a difference of one second or a few seconds. So if I select them, then image, adjust date and time. And I change the date to the 12th of June. And the time was a.m. not p.m. And it was 9 a.m. There we go. So it tells me it will be adjusted by five months, two days and 18 hours. Now it will add that difference to each and every one of that photo. So not all the photos that I have selected will have the exact same time. They will not all be 9.37.09. The time of five months, two days and 18 hours will be added to whatever time it carries now. So if I adjust that, I don't want to go down here. Now they're here with the new date and you can see the sequence is still exactly the same because the same time difference has been added to each of the photos. And this is how you change the time for multiple images.